Your men are gone, fella. And you ain't all that scary locked up in that wagon. Oh, you think you're better than me? You're a killer. Why don't you stop squawking and save me shooting you? You'd shoot a prisoner in a cave? All right! Glad to be out of there. Guess we about even. You stay out of Lemoyne. now. Who are you? Found this old letter. The mayor sent it to a friend of mine, Mr. Kilgore. I'm here seeing if I can be of any help. All right. Wait here. Follow me. Uh, hello, hello. John Marston. Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. Oh. And he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. And he's gonna really hate my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Marston. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. An appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no. 
<laughs> this is not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can be a whole lot more impudent than this. But this is for a great cause. And for a wealthy man such as yourself, a chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? To help finance a library in town. Just think of the prestige. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor... Mayor? The mayor is a crook. <laughs> me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here! I'm sorry? Was that... Yes! I would like to finance the library for the common good! I can't hear you! What was that? See, that wasn't difficult. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beaten, I know that to be true. The mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. You should let him live a little more. Driver! Hold up! As you were. Move on! Can I help you? I think I might be able to help you. My name's John Marston. I heard about your work through an old friend of mine, Arthur Morgan. He passed some time ago. Ah, yes, of course I remember. Arthur, fine fellow. What a shame. Well, that is very kind of you, Mr. Marston. A little assistance here would certainly be appreciated. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Well, only the basics. Avoid them whenever possible. <laughs> well. Did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> well, let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death roll. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today. You stay there, you'll get a great shot, but then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. Why don't we take this boat out? It'll protect you. Come on, get the boat. It'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. Well, you carry on shooting from that bank, you're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yeah. Ten percent who survived? They're the nasty ones. All right, then. Um... Oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, and to the west. Oh, and to the northwest, there. That, that's probably where we should look. Okay. Let's go look then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. I got it. Oh, look. On that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but... You don't mind that pork chop gets butchered. Pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. It's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. We caught him. In the middle of his dinner. This is history making truly. Nature. In all its glory. And cruelty. Could have been you if you'd stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't! You see something I don't? Why we stop? Okay. So, um, now it's southwest or due west. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. Gators got some catching up to do then. Cases, trunks, shoes, boots, belts, Bibles even. They'll make anything out of gator leather that the market desires. And all Gator's gonna do with your leather is eat it. Maybe chew on it a while. <laughs> Quite. It's hardly fair. 
You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than, than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of them, then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer. Right. Right. There, in the cane rake. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. There, in the channel. Do you see its head? Hooking up there. Oh. 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 Oh, that's a big one. Ooh. Now, turn us. Now, rotate. Rotate. Closer now. Closer. Beast in repose. All is calm as the predator lurks. The final sighting was to the northwest of here. 17 feet, 19 feet, 21 feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's 20-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a 12-foot skiff? No. This is in the 70s, 80s. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't a shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his body. It's them or us. Especially with the big ones. Stop too long, the locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? Please, he's quite something. If I could take that fellow's likeness, it might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. Shot. Can, can you rotate us a little? But maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh, that's the spirit. <laughs> Out you go, then. Get him and uh, get him. Notice you and then turn tail and run. Uh, he's away. Quick. There'll be no need for an instrument of killing. Quick, jump in the boat. In, in, in. I think you misunderstood our purpose here. Put that away! Got him! What a specimen! We can congratulate ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Marston. Take us back to where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, assuredly. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killer machine? Oh, well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. Put that away! We're conservationists, not killers! Ah, yes. 
doctor here. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. Oh. I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent. The backdrop, jaw-dropping. But the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. <laughs> you sure do make me laugh the way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I foresaw many an ignominious future for myself, but never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. And try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. <laughs> what are you doing? Didn't see you there. Hello. You're gonna die today! Want me to make this look harder than it is? Shit, no! He's gonna lose him. Christ!
You are a fool and a nuisance, brother. Helen, is this creepy little toad bothering you again? Shall I throw him? Sir, we need a hand. You, uh, gentlemen enjoying the great outdoors? No, he's still a lizard. Coward, gerbil, mommy's boy. Vanity. Effluent discharge. Milk sap. You already said that. Uh, I did not. <laughs> You're a milk sap. Well, you are all chatter and no testes, dear brother. Helen, I will make you love me if it is the last thing I do. And to prove how suitable I am to make a happy and stable life with, I shall throw myself over the waterfall in just a barrel. And so shall I, just to demonstrate how little your feeble gestures mean, you homunculus. John, please come do the honors and make sure we, um... Uh... Oh, you silly little tapeworm of a man. Follow me! Follow you? I was born first. Helen, I love you. And brother, you're living proof of God's remarkable sense of humor! Good luck! <laughs> you crazy bastards. Oh my lord! The fools! The silly fools! I cannot believe they've done this! Uh, come on. Let's go try and find them. There you are. Acrisius! What have you done? Brother, are you there? Acri? Huh? Is that you? <laughs> I've had the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> I thought you were a goner. <laughs> it's a miracle we're alive. <laughs> silly, silly voice. You nearly died. For me. <laughs> She's right. Oh, dear brother, what fools we've been. You're the fool. But a brave one. You might be dense, but you are the noblest man I know! You are a lion! Giant! You are an Earthshaker! World conqueror! Let's Ow. not let anything come between us again. Never. Boys? I, I, Good lady, adieu. Bewitch, some other milk sops. We will have none of it. But I, I thought let, that... Before this siren calls us to the rocks again, let us away from here. You lead the way, brother. The West awaits. Boys! <laughs> Boys! <sighs> Quite some suitors you picked there. I was trying to stop them from killing themselves. They won't last a week without me. No, probably not. But you'll have an easier time. I guess I will. So long. Ma'am. Oh. oh, I wasn't trying to lead them on, you know? It was just exciting. The smartest men I knew, with positively the least sense. <laughs> well, that's usually how it works. Good luck.
It's you. Come in. Where's... what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Ah. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yeah? Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Marston, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... Go on. Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Uh, is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh, I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Say those awful things about me, buddy. <laughs> Best not make a drama of things. Come on, let's see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <sighs> Quick, Miss Marston, bring him around the back. Oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, uh, I've missed you, I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. Oh, Jean-Marc, oh, we had to save you from yourself. Here. My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... I promised to change. I know. Ah, oh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? 
Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Did you run in your mouth? I'll leave Thought you out of it. friends and him He'll and... betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lumiere's a foul rat, but I'm a man of my word. Let me live and I'll... I'll, I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on, please. Please, come on. You want to shoot a, a sad little man, would you? I might be a brute, but I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here and don't mention me, boy. That jolted me. John Marston? I don't believe it! I thought you were dead. Pearson, what are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah! Beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? So what can I get for you today, sir? How the hell are you? Pretty good. Got some land in Great Plains. Trying to get a small ranch going. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. This sure has brought the memories flooding back. Not all of them good. <laughs> Howdy, mister. Oh, I remember you. Listen, have you seen, um... Gavin? You still on this? Yeah, yeah. It's turned into a right bloody rigmarole. <laughs> I told the trouble to drive, I'd be six months. It's been seven or eight years now. I'd have stopped after seven or eight days. <laughs> oh, box his ears when I find him. No, I won't. Love that boy. <laughs> Come in! Where are you hiding? Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? me no more. Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. They've got quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder? It was self-defense. You killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could, and secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... They ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. I just get some food in my belly. I'm set, mister.
Now let's just hope no one saw them posters. You done enough for us. We're on our own now. But at this point, hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? I'm being nice to you, so be nice to me. Wait a damn second. Look at well, this. Look at that. You found me some gold. Why don't you hand it right Get over? Get away from me, you d oh. You better not drop it! You better not! Come on, you pair of cream pies! Do you want this rally to happen or not? Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> I just can't win. Well, shit. Guess they got what was coming. Well, there's two more. Corruption personified. I will Ooh. cut you down. I think you're mistaken. I'm a good guy. Hey, eyes where you're walking. You heard me, you rock. You again. Were you dropped as a child? I'm gonna end you. I'm through Stop. getting involved with the problems like this. You shouldn't have pushed me. Damn it all! That's a face only a mother can love. Listen, I got no time for big talkers. To beat until it's blue, probably. Take it! I'll watch Come you on. rock! <laughs> You're a drunken man. Hey, I'm mess. a decent man. Don't need none of this. You should be ashamed of yourself, partner. Hey, I got scars on my face and I'm still prettier than you. What'd you say? I could have been chewed up and spat out. I'd still beat you in a beauty contest. That's it! Don't you take any of the shit, you hear me? Is there a problem here? I... This is it! 
Ridiculous. I don't give a damn what you say. Even from this distance. You ain't coming back from this, understand? <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> You're as good as Barry. <laughs> Just for you. Quick and clean, yeah, I got my eye on you. Overdoing it a little, ain't you? Hands up, or I swear to God I will shoot you! I'm coming peacefully. You there, take your take man! Him. Evening, mister. Oh, shut your mouth. That ain't even called for. I said, shut your mouth. Will you leave me alone? How dumb are you? Leave another day, I say. Hey, big guy. That's the usual. Hey, don't you start with me. Okay. Hey, Come man, on. What the hell? I'm tired of this shit. 
You had a This will have to answer the law. Two more. Play this out by the rules, and we're all good. Reckon I've seen enough of this. Off you go. Sure. Hardly see. It's over now. Hey, get out of here, Mister Skinners. It might be close. It's all right. You're... All right, they're all gone. Just go to sleep now. Oh. Oh. <coughs> uh. You there? You there? I, I, I'm coming. <laughs> 